Okay, we're going to, I'm going to show you today how to um, change a PLCC memory chip on an MZC66. With the very latest MZC66, is the memory chip is actually soldered to the board, so you won't be able to do this. But the main reason for doing this is if you've got an older unit where you've exceeded the memory size uh, of the chip with your file and the firmware, and you want to upgrade to uh, do mode free or bitwise control or, or some such. Um, uh, thing it controls of the, of the unit so you need more memory size so first of all take the lid off three screws there quite possibly they won't be there on an older unit uh, two screws either side and four at the back remove the lid and then the next part is the uh, slightly more difficult bit you turn it on its side and you remove the troidal transformer. So let's just take the bolt out of the transformer and move it out of the way. You just, if you always do it that way, you always know that you've got enough space to do it. What you'll need now is a PLCC uh, extraction tool. Uh, they only cost about three pounds, uh, very easily available on the internet. Just type in P PLCC extractor tool and it'll come up and then you just fit your two retracting arms into there, squeeze, and the chip comes out. Remember which way round it goes. There is actually um, uh, a chiselled off edge on one side, so you can marry that up onto the uh, onto the chip holder, so you know which way it goes. And then to fit it back in, just make sure you. Very careful with the pins around the edge. Let's put it back into position. This is a little bit fiddly, as you can tell by the fact that I've made a mess of it. And put it back into place and push back in. And then it's just the same in reverse. Put your bolt back through. Tighten up your bolts. Pop your lid back on, and they are ready to program. The chip will not be recognised because there'll be nothing on it. So what you'll need to do is force the firmware upgrade into it to tell it what it is. And that's as easy as that.